<laughs> it's, not, it's not gonna work. Today is the day. I'm looking forward to share this video with you. I loved making this video as I'm really passionate about this topic. Yes, today's episode of Learning Photography on YouTube is all about composition. Do you like this t-shirt? Welcome to my channel and welcome to episode 8 of Learning Photography on YouTube. If you're here for the first time or you are enjoying this photography course, it might be a good idea to subscribe. Do you want to see some of the images from the metering assignment? Thanks to everyone for participating to this photo assignment. I love to see your commitment and I'm also happy to see new photos every day under the hashtag Attilio Photo Club. It's really cool. Let's keep it up. Composition. Composition, in my opinion, is the most important thing in photography. As a matter of fact, I think that composition is what really differentiates the style of a photographer from another one because composition is the result of how a photographer sees. In the previous episode of this photography course, we talked about different technical aspects of photography, and we also saw how these aspects can become creative tools in our photography. Aperture and depth of field, shutter speed and motion blur or long exposure. But composition is the ultimate creative tool Composition is creativity. Composition is our eye. And with composition, we have two main goals. The first goal is to direct the viewer attention where we want. In a portrait could be the eyes of the subject, in a landscape could be the depth of the scene. But no matter what kind of photography we are in, composition is the main tool to lead the viewer eyes to what is important. And the second goal of composition is to create an image that is pleasing to the viewer eye. We want our photos to be eye-catching. So how can we achieve both these goals using composition in our photography? Well, it might sound counterintuitive as we are talking of a creative tool, but there are some composition rules and techniques that will help us to create compelling photographs. Let me share with you the five composition rules that I consider the most important ones. Once you master these techniques, trust me, you will be able to bring your photography to the next level. So let's see which are these rules and techniques. The rule of thirds is possibly the most popular composition rule. So what is it and how does it work? Let's turn on the grid in our camera LCD screen. As you can see, the grid is formed by two vertical lines and two horizontal lines. And apparently the human eye seems to be attracted by what is positioned at the intersection of these lines. So placing the most important aspect of the image on one of the intersecting points or along the lines makes the image more appealing to the human eye and draws the viewer attention into the composition. Leading lights is a composition technique that features lines. And I mean natural lines that you can find anywhere. Roads, trees, rivers. So by properly positioning these leading lines in the frame, we will be able to draw the viewer's eye to the subject of our photo. A leading line is an easy path 
for the eye to follow through the different elements of a photo. In landscape photography, for example, using leading lines that connect the foreground to the background of a scene will also help to give depth to our images. The negative space is the area that surrounds the main subject in your photo, where the positive space is the main subject. When composing an image, leaving a lot of negative space, we will be actually able to draw attention towards the positive space, the subject. So when framing your images, play with your composition until you find the right balance between positive and negative space. If you want to create a powerful composition using this technique, don't be afraid to leave a lot of negative space. Symmetry is a powerful composition tool that will immediately create a pleasing balance and harmony in your photos. Symmetry is everywhere and it has always been associated with beauty. As a matter of fact, there are very few things that are more eye-catching than perfect symmetry. That's why, for instance, I love water reflections. So try to incorporate anything that is symmetrical in your images and for sure you will improve the quality of your compositions. Capturing patterns and repetitions can add a strong impact to our photos. This is another powerful composition tool and it can be used in two opposite ways. We can either emphasize the repetitive pattern or we can break. When we emphasize the pattern, it is important to try to fill the frame with those patterns and repetitions, maybe combining it with symmetry if possible. This will create a much stronger effect and a very cool composition. But a broken pattern can create an even stronger image. The interruption can be anything is contrasting the main repetitive pattern. It can be a contrasting color, a contrasting shape, a different texture. When I see a natural broken pattern or I see the opportunity of creating one, I just cannot resist from capturing it. These composition rules and techniques can also be used combined to create even more powerful images. But a very important thing that I want to mention is that I strongly believe that rules are also made to be broken. So consider these composition rules as guidelines and feel free to break them anytime your creativity is telling you something different. I use and break these composition rules all the time. 
So don't become a slave of these techniques, but use them as tools every time you feel that they can help you to create more powerful images. Of course, beside these five, there are many other composition techniques that I'm sure we will talk about in future videos. So stick around. Clearly, this episode requires an assignment. Actually, I believe that it would require more than just one, but for now, let's stick to one photo. And for this assignment, I will do things a little different, as I'm going to make an assignment review video where I will gently critique some of the images that you will submit. So, if you want to participate and possibly have your photo featured and critiqued on the assignment review video, you need to take a photo using one of the five composition rules and techniques that we discussed in this video. Post your images on Instagram, use the hashtag LPOY underscore composition, tag me at the for photography and write in the description which composition technique you used. I'm looking forward to seeing your photos. And now back to the t-shirt for one second. I am making some design and material tests for a new t-shirt collection that I am developing under the photography theme. This is my very first prototype. This is the ART uh, with my logo in the front and in the back. This is the histogram T. By the way, this is the real histogram of the Wanaka 3 photo. 658 seconds, F9 is a 64, you know, logo in the back. And this is the speed limit tee for those who love long exposure photography. More designs are on their way, but for now, what do you think? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something new today. It would be really awesome if you could help me to promote this video. So just hit the like button and share this video with your friends. And if you want to see more videos like this, consider to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.